Oh! Whoops, I hit my skid plate. That got me too, man. Skid plates. They're relatively cheap compared to the parts they protect. So I'm pleased to announce that I have a 5% discount for NOLO design skid plates. Right now they're making plates for the mid-size Hondas, but uh, they do plan on expanding to other car brands as well. The code is JohnDZ5. In this episode, we are going to analyze how to take a line to avoid taking a hit to your skid plate. It has a lot to do with how much ground clearance you have and how you place your tires. The star of this episode is my friend Jesse, aka All Wheel Drive Tank on Instagram. Here's a link to his account at the top right. Make sure to give him a follow. You'll see some crazy stuff. He's tackled terrain that I would not dare even attempt. The video footage you see here is 10 months old, and this is when Jesse just started tackling this type of terrain, and he's come a long way, and the sky is the limit for him. We're going to take a closer look at what happened there and why he made contact. But if you haven't seen the video already, watch uh, Redemption at 10,000 feet. Here's a link to that video. That's where this footage came from. So right here, Jesse is approaching the obstacle. Let's go take a look at his line. There's that big rock that he kind of drives around, which is good. Okay. Good, he has enough breakover angle to clear that. Now, here's the culprit rock. Bam, right there. So, in order to avoid that, he should have driven right on top of that rock. He entered uphill, it's hard to see where that rock was, so can't really blame him. Oof. That was a good one. All right, let's go take a look at this. Let's do some analyzing. <laughs> All right, so we see our culprit rock. And to avoid it, you want to put your tires on top of the tallest rocks. That's going to prop your vehicle up so that it avoids any rock that's sticking out. Wabam! All right, so let's go see what we can do better here. So now we're going to do an overlap of Jesse's Honda Pilot and my Honda Passport. There I am. All right, so I'm coming in wide because I'm trying to line up with the tall rocks. What I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to drive on the tallest rock and then to the next tallest rock and then to the other next tallest rock. And I get through without hitting. I do need to point out that I have about two inches more minimum clearance compared to Jesse's Honda Pilot because Honda Pilot by default has almost an inch less ground clearance and then he's rocking the two inch kit two inch lift kit instead of the three and a half inch lift kit. All right, let's take a closer look. So in the red, that's the rock to avoid. And in the green, that is the rock that Jesse should drive up on top of. You'll see that his driver tires are lined up just to the left of the rock with the green asterisk. Because he didn't drive on top of it, both of those rocks become points of contact. Now here's a replay of me going through. So you see that the driver's side tire right here. There's a lift. 
and I clear it. Now here's another alternate way you could go. If you drive over the green asterisk right there on the tallest rocks, then you would clear everything too. Jesse's a very fast learner, and after those two incidents, he was tackling much more rockier terrain. You're going to go over a, a, a pretty big boulder right. on your passenger. I think your um, your uh, side steps are going to hit though. Slowly, slowly. Right, see, there it is. Okay. I'll tell you when to cut. Go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead. You're going to go over this boulder in your passenger side. All right, cut right. You're probably going to go over that boulder in your uh, rear passenger. All right, keep going. You're gonna hit this uh, rock here. Stop and reverse uh, passenger side. All right, keep going. Go, 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 go. All right, stop. I think you can clear it. Hard right. All right, you'll, you'll, hit, you'll tap it a little bit. You're good though. There you go. Okay, you'll, you'll clear this rock here out front, so you're good. You're gonna go over this boulder in this side. On your front um front front passenger. You're gonna go over a boulder in your front passenger. Alright, you're over it, you're going over it. That was your uh, side steps. All right, go ahead, slowly, slowly. You're good. Just keep going straight. Okay, go, uh, go passenger, passenger. Yep, good. Slow. You're coming down, coming down right now. Nice and slow. Nice and slow. All right. Yep, just keep going straight. Okay, driver's dropping. All right. Passenger front's lifting. Okay. okay. Nice and slow, you're dropping on the rear, okay? Yeah, you're pretty much over all the hard stuff, but just take it slow. Your rear's gonna drop. Just don't rev too much. Are you in sand mode? Use sand mode. Yeah, use sand mode the whole time. All right, turn off eco mode. If not, okay. Just uh, don't rev too much. Just just go. Two foot it. All right, there you go. There you go. All right, just nice and slow. You got it. You're through. One more section. It's not as bad, but we got to turn. And if you mess up, you hit a tree. <laughs> so. <laughs> You're good. This is where you camped last time. This is where. Yeah, right there. This is as far as you got last time. The Ridgeline dreams ended. <laughs> <laughs> you redeemed yourself. Yeah. 
Dude, it was still pretty killer. Yeah, yeah. Uh, which one do you think is harder, the other side or this side? I don't know, man. I think they're kind of the same. So I think this one had more uh, like bigger boulders you got to overcome, while that one had like sharper um, and more like closer together. Yeah. Uh, the rocks are sharper, but closer together. Uh huh. Yeah. The boulders here are more spaced out. So what do you say? What do you think this is? Which side's easier? For for um like crossovers, I think that other side is easier for crossovers. Yeah. 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 I I, I would maybe. I mean. On a, quite honestly, both sides are very hard for crossovers. But easier. Yeah, it's more difficult, but if you want to come here with a crossover... I, I don't know. There, there's a lot of crossovers that aren't making it here. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, yours did. Well... Yeah, this is not exactly an easy trail. Um, Nolo Designs, thank you for the skid plates because Jesse's using them right now. So he's actually utilizing his traction boards that he, he mounts to his uh, hood. Really quick access for him. So in case anyone was wondering, is that, you know, to try to make his vehicle look tough? Uh, no, it's actually functional. Passenger rear spinning. So anyways, thank you very much for watching this episode. I hope you found it informational and you learned something. In a unibody all-wheel drive, skid plates should be your first or second upgrade. It's tied with terrain appropriate tires. In my opinion, it should be the first upgrade because with a tire, you could always, if you get, if you Let's say you get two flat tires, your buddies could always drive into town, get two tires, drive back up, and you're good. But if you bash your oil pan, you lose oil pressure, you don't realize what happened, you keep going, and then your engine explodes. So <laughs> I would definitely choose uh, having to replace a tire over an entire engine. So that does it for this episode. I hope you stay safe, protect your vehicle, and have fun on your adventures.